Hey everybody, I'd like to share a quick introduction before diving into this review. I'm a passionate metal detector enthusiast and today's review is all about the remarkable 1080p industrial endoscope borescope. It's got an LD LCD screen of 4.3 inches, an 8mm inspection snake camera, but before we get into the details, I want to mention a few important points. During my field expeditions, I've encountered various instances where I've come across cracks, crevices, and hidden holes in the ground. These are the kinds of places that hold the potential for discovering hidden artifacts or buried treasures, but they can be quite challenging to access with a regular metal detector. That's where this device comes into play. Interestingly, not many metal detector enthusiasts consider this camera as part of their essential equipment. Surprisingly, none of my friends even own one. However, I believe in being fully prepared for all possibilities. Exploring diverse aspects while out in the field is something I genuinely enjoy doing, especially when it comes to archaeology and uncovering hidden historic artifacts. I see this device as an excellent tool and a valuable addition to have readily available. So, without further ado, Let's take a closer look at this impressive camera and see what it has to offer. Okay guys, um, this is the box that it came in. Uh, how, how well you can see that. Uh, this way. Okay, let the camera focus for a minute. And let's see what we've got. It's got um, on the box here, it's got full color, LED lights, photo and video capability. Um, but in order, it doesn't. The um, this camera doesn't come with a uh, memory, so you're gonna have to pick up a TF card for it. Um, it'll take up to 120 gigabytes. Um, right now, I've got a 32 gigabyte um, that I'm gonna be putting into it. Um, it's also waterproof. Um, it's got 1080p, 2600 milliamp hour battery. Uh, that's built in. And you just record it. Let's see. Uh, open this rascal up. All right. Come on in. All right. It's got the uh, user manual in here. <coughs> Let's see how we can see that. All right. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. This is the actual camera. Oh, it's got some goodies in here. Let's put this aside for a minute. All right. Um, it comes with this uh, USB to C adapter. Um, that's just for charging the internal battery. Pretty, Pretty short, short too. It's not very long. But I guess like most, you know, a lot of people have so many of these cables laying around for their cell phones that it charges up the same way. All right, now let's open up this packet and see what we got in here. All right, that little hook one to give me a hard time. All right, this is a little hook that um, this part attaches onto the camera. Um, where you at? Uh, just like that right there and um, if you got anything in a pipe or uh, that's a metal uh, you need to pull out it would have to be um, I wouldn't put anything too heavy on it I mean there's only so much pulling that you can do with this I mean it's really not that strong um, you could risk breaking this thing it's just a thin wire it might pull out something like a bracelet or um, maybe a ring of some type. Uh, that's about, you don't want to pull anything harder than that, you know. But, um, it's got that attachment. And it's also got a magnet. Uh, this magnet, where you can see it, the magnet's on the end right there. You can see the shiny part. I mean, it'll pick some things up. It doesn't feel like it's that strong, 
well, actually, it's got a, it's got a good amount of um, pull to it, but I don't think just like the uh, that hook, you might get a bracelet out of there or, or uh, uh, a ring of some kind, you know. But um, that's about the extent of it. He couldn't pull anything heavier than that. Uh, the magnet is just not strong enough for it. All right, and then it's got a, it's like a, a rear view mirror. You can see it right there. Um, I think what it does is it just bounces the light back uh, behind the camera. Um, so you can get an overhead look or you can twist the thing and see what's around it. But um, I'm going to have to check and see. I haven't used this. I'll have to check and see what that's all about. And it's got a couple of extra pieces here. Um, I think these are just replacement pieces in case you break one of them. You got a couple of replacements here. You know, when they give you two replacements, most people, <laughs> that kind of tells you that those things aren't very strong. You know, there's a really good, you stand a really good chance of breaking them. So, you got those. Um, but anyway, this camera, it um, it comes in three different lengths as far as this cable is concerned. It comes in two meters or equivalent would be 6.6 .6 feet. It comes in uh, five meters, equivalent would be 16.4 feet. And 10 meters, equivalent to 32.8 feet. Um, I've got the 10 meter, I've got the longest one they had. Um, if, they had, if they were made them any longer, I would have probably got it, but um, that's the longest one they had. But the, I think 32 feet for right now, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, I guess once I play around with it and everything, and if I got to go deeper than 32 feet, then we're going to have a problem anyway. I wouldn't even mess with it. But um, the camera's got a light and everything on, like I said, in the package. So far, what I'm looking at here, the only thing I don't want, like, I don't know how well you can see those buttons. Um, but anyway, the buttons got, okay, this is your menu system. Um, you can go into menu. This is, um, you can, this button here, that's to increase or decrease your light, the amount of light coming out of the end of that camera lens. And this is your OK button. Um, you can mash it, and you got to hold it for about three seconds before the, this uh, device turns on. This is your down LED, and this one you can go from um, from photo to actually doing videos, and. Um, you gotta push that once for photo and a couple times for um, for doing videos. And the only thing I don't like about it is you can barely make out what it says on the keys. Um, I was talking to a buddy of mine, and uh, he said, "Well, if you really need to see the keys, you know, you want to see what's wrote on there." Um, he told me to get some nail polish and put some nail polish in there. And when the nail polish dries, just scratch off the top of the thing and the nail polish would stay on the inside of that, that print that's on there and you can see it a lot better. But um, I, mean, I agree, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna have to do that. I don't think I'll need to. But um, it seems like it's a good device. The batteries on the inside of this, I don't think yeah, you're gonna have to take a little screws and everything out just to get this back off and get to the battery. But um, the battery is just one of those little pack batteries. I wouldn't take it apart anyway. But I'll uh, tell you what, let me go ahead and turn it on. Okay, that's how it turns on. I could I get a lot of glare. All right. I don't know how well you can see that. I'm probably gonna have to uh, turn the lights and everything off so you can see it a little bit better. But, um, all right. 
Yeah. I'll turn it off right now. And um, I'll go ahead and turn the light off so you can see it just a little bit better. But anyway, it's a, it's a good looking device and everything. And what got me was it said industrial in the box. So that tells me that, you know, you can use it commercially. Um, and I like the sound of that. You know, I want something that's built well and, you know, and works like it's supposed to um, when you're doing a lot of field work, you know. The only thing I was concerned about is you know, when you take a camera like this, I mean, it's got a protective cover on it, but when you're sticking this thing in between rocks, I mean, the potential of scratching everything up is uh, very real. But I don't know. I guess um, once I get it out in the field and try it out and see how it works, um, I'll be able to give a better review on it. But anyway, that's the camera. And, and right now we're going to move to turning the lights off and see how well the camera works there. All right, guys. Um, I turned the light off uh, so you can get an idea of uh, what this thing's going to look like. And uh, when I put something on the lens, but um, let's see if I can get this thing positioned right. It's a little bit of. All right. Now the light's kind of bright right now, but uh. I've got the cable on top of this piece of paper, but it just, it kind of gives you an idea. The lights, um, they're kind of, they look kind of bright right this minute, but you can adjust. It's got like three different light settings on it. So, uh, you can adjust the amount of light, but, uh, the camera works pretty good. Um, I'll put my hand in front of it. I know it's hard to see it. got way too much light on it. Uh, let me see if I can adjust it. Alright, that's off. Let's bring it back up one. Okay. That right there is the lowest light setting. And uh, you could see my fingers pretty good. Let me hold this piece of paper back up to it. Yeah, it's just, it's hard to make it out. But see, you're, it's getting a reflection on the camera is what's happening too. I'm holding one camera and facing the other camera with it. And it's, it's reflecting, it's not what I'm seeing. Um, I'm not seeing the same thing you are, um, but anyway, I mean, it, it's just to give you a general idea of what it, uh, how well it's 1080p. It's, um, it's got really good color to it and everything. And I turned the light down to minimum. This is the minimum light setting on here. So, so you can see I'm still getting all kinds of reflection and everything on it. But uh, that's because I've got two cameras facing each other, and I think uh, they're working against each other. But anyway, that's just to give you an idea. Let me go ahead and uh, get the lights back on. All right. I, ho I hope the review was helpful for y'all, uh, deciding whether to make a purchase or not. I understand how difficult it can be making a decision when there are so many other reviews on YouTube. I can't. Uh, provide any specific guarantees but I can say that I'm happy with my own purchase um, initially I expected to spend around five hundred dollars to a thousand dollars for a snake camera so I was pleasantly surprised to find models including this one priced at just 40 bucks um, also uh, I wanted to mention if you're interested in metal detecting uh, you can find me on treasurenet.com um, I've included a few links in the description below uh, for you to check out if you could click on the thumbs up button and subscribe for future updates that would be greatly appreciated but anyway um thanks for watching and and hope to see you again